Ever wonder how a diesel train really runs? The engine doesn't drive the wheels directly. It's more like a power plant on wheels. Here's how it works. A massive 12-cylinder twin-turbo diesel engine burns fuel and spins a giant generator. That generator first makes AC power, then converts it to DC, and that electricity goes straight to the heavy traction motors. Each motor delivers thousands of horsepower to turn the wheels. The turbos push in high-pressure air. An intercooler cools it down before it reaches the engine, and there's even a 1.5-ton water tank for extra cooling. On top, huge fans pull air through radiators, keeping the whole system from overheating on long runs. So what about braking? The traction motors switch into generators, dumping energy into massive resistors that heat up, and fans blow the heat away. That's electric braking. And if the wheels start to slip, a sand system sprays grit on the tracks to add traction. So in the end, a diesel locomotive is really a giant rolling power station, turning fuel into electricity to haul thousands